Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up SMTP in order to send emails. First of all, why you may need to set up SMTP. So there is lots of applications that requires you to add SMTP credentials in order to send different types of emails from your application. For example, if you are familiar with WordPress, you need to set up SMTP credentials in order to send password reset emails or get email notifications about new comments and so on. So for that, we need SMTP and I'll show you how you can create one using SMTP to go. So SMTP to go is email service provider that will handle email sending process. What's important to mention, you can send up to 1000 emails per month for free. If you want to try SMTP to go, you can create free account. The link will be in the description. After you create an account, you will need to verify your domain. This will allow you to send professional emails that will end with your company or product name. We have another video on our channel on how to verify your domain with SMTP to go. Link will be also in the description. So after you complete verification process, you will need to create a, a user in order to send emails. So go to sending SMTP users. Here I don't have any users yet. So click continue, then click add SMTP user. And you can see that it already has some values in username and password. If you're happy with these values, you can leave it as it is. Also, you can add description and also you can have rate limit for each user. I'll simply click add SMTP user. And basically I'm done. So I have my user and I have my uh, SMTP credentials. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to show you how to add these credentials to the WordPress site in order to get emails from your blog. When you go to the writing settings, you will see following inputs. So mail server, port, login name and password. So what we need to do is to copy the following values. So SMTP server. So we need to copy this value and paste it here. So the recommended port is 2525. We paste it here. Again, so we have our user credentials. So we copy our username and we copy our password and simply click save. After that, we can send emails from our WordPress site or get notifications about new comments and other activities. So there is lots of different cases when you need to set up your SMTP credentials in different applications in order to send emails to your users or to yourself. If you find this video helpful, click the like button. And if you have any questions, leave the comment below. We'll be happy to answer and see you in the next videos. Bye.